Maybe your golf game is just a little bit off. Okay, or maybe a lot off. You've decided you need a coach, but what should you look for when picking one? Well, there's four real key components. The first of which is going to be fact-based instruction. If you're not using video during instruction, or you're simply behind the times, and you're not getting real-time feedback. Uh, the use of motion measurement technology like we have here at Golf Tech really allows us to get down to the root cause of swing flaws uh, rather than just focusing on the effects. Uh, use of launch data as well. And you've got to have the reinforcement that comes along with proper development. By reinforcement, I mean having the access to actually practice on video as well. Uh, a second key component is, is your coach really qualified? Have they gone through the proper training? Do they have the proper credentials? Uh, how many lessons have they taught? What is, what is their career? How long have they been teaching? What type of certifications do they have? Do they have a degree? Make sure they're qualified. Do a little research on that. Uh, whether they're PGA or non-PGA instructor is not necessarily meaning that they're qualified or non-qualified, but what type of certifications go along with it? What kind of training have they had? Thirdly, commitment. How long has this coach been teaching and how committed is he to teaching? Or is it something that's just a, is it just a job for them? You know, so a, a real commitment. And you can usually tell by how passionate they are when they're when you spend some time with them. It's something you should usually be able to get a good sense for right off the bat. And then the fourth thing is, do they have a track record with clients? Do they have any clients you can talk to? Do they have a, 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 a reference list, if you will, that you can see what type of results have their past clients have? How many current active clients do they have? How many lessons do they teach on a weekly or monthly basis? If it's somebody that's just teaching five, six lessons a week, okay, yeah, yeah, possibly. If it's somebody that's teaching 25 to 40 lessons a week, has an active client base on a regular basis, you know there's some value to what that individual is providing. So those are some things I, I think people should look for. Once you've found the right coach, you can zero in on your goal of playing better golf.